Today we're playing Feria. Uh, have had a, had a long, extensive playthrough of uh, Eternal card game on mobile, um, but you know I have to come back to Feria. It just calls to me. Um, so today's lore page is Cannon Carrier, and that means we're going to be playing Mechs. Uh, I don't know if we can play blue cards, so I might shuffle that one and see if we can get something that we can play all at once, but we'll see. Um, let me just get all set up here. So, luckily I already have a deck that will work for this, I think. Mech deck, here we are. And we're looking at Cannon Carrier over here, which is launch a 4-2 mecha in a straight line onto any land which makes for a really interesting pressure um, that an opponent's usually not ready for because you can shoot across the ocean as well. So um, hopefully I can show off how cool this deck can really be. Um, so this runs uh, quite a few uh, spells. So we have Cypher's Wrath, which deals two damage and then two damage to the controller. We have Detonate, which is kind of the um, card that really makes mechs really good. Um, and that is, for every mech, uh, deal two damage to adjacent enemies. So you can start to see if you have a bunch of mechs surrounding an enemy, every one of those deals two damage to the enemy when you detonate. Um, but it doesn't actually kill your your robot, which is uh, interesting. You'd think that with detonate, it would actually blow your mechs up, but I guess not. That would be interesting. Like if it dealt more damage, but then destroyed your mechs. Okay. And then there's flame burst, which is just a good three damage. So you can either shoot that at face or shoot them um, uh, just shoot a creature um, and then I this is my tech card uh, usually not many people I've not a, many of the decks that I've seen run uh, flamethrower um, but I like to run it and it's just ranged and then if you just you can just pressure the face and then also cover um, different ferio wells with this card so but it also has uh, whenever it attacks a god deal one damage to all enemy creatures and also has the mecha ar archetype, so I thought that maybe it would be good in this deck. We'll see. Could be terribly go terribly awry, but um, and then grappling hook is also uh, kind of my flavor of this deck, um, where you can give your creatures ranged and then um, have them move across the field. So it's kind of like Link with his slingshot. It's not slingshot. It's the hook shot. It's exactly like that. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other cards. You'll, you'll see. Airbot is a good uh, opener. Uh, essentially, it will help Garrett get the double very well cap uh, capture, so you'll see some of that. And then Bomb Slinger, we'll see. Uh, I might have to sub this one out sometimes um, if there's a lot of people running Spirit Theft. Uh, it's a hard counter. So it's this card. Drain one life from an enemy creature, and if you kill it, add a copy of it to your hand, and it becomes wild. So it does one damage, right? And then they steal it for one Feria, right? And this has exactly one health. So you can start to see that it started to be a little bit of a problem. All right, let's go hop in and make this work. Oh, I cannot forget the deck list. All right. Oh, perfect, perfect. It fits all in one. I don't have to scroll. Maybe that should be like my constraints for deck building. I can't, I can't have it scroll at all. That way, I can make the deck list work. Let's see if it... Perfect. Yes. Awesome. Uh, let's see if I can move this Twitch chat up. Grab this, and can I control? Awesome. You can do it. So, uh oh, well, okay, I can move it like slowly one moment I'm just having to make sure that everything works up here my never-ending battle with this uh, layout <laughs> There, haha. Yep, all lines up perfectly. 
I think I just needed to like have different like stream layouts. Um, I created my new logo. I think I like it a lot. Um, Cause it's a shape of a card and it's the card of truth. Um, all right, let's go save this deck and go hop in here. Oh wait, let's see if I re-roll this. Wait, yellow cards. Oh, we don't have very many, but at least we can chip away at it. All right, we're playing the mech deck. And here we go. Oops, there we go. All right, now we can go look up our core questions. Let's, oh, I guess, guess not, all right. This is what I gotta do. I like we have starting to see a lot of new players. A lot of people in this default garb. Could be a smurf though. Um which is good. I'm I'm glad I'm starting to see new players, because uh This game definitely needs it. It's underrated for sure. Oh here we go. Airbot. You can totally see the strat now. Alright, so what I like to do is put red right here, um, that way if you did your ranged creature you can put him right in front of your face and just shoot across the field. Um, and then what we'll do is put the yellow here, or here, depending on which side he goes, and we'll put our airbot in the pocket. And then you can double collect with one creature. So it's just going straight down the line, so we'll just, uh, it doesn't matter which way we go then. Um, I'll go this way. And then since it has dash, when it's summoned, it can jump that many tiles, so long as there's no obstruction. And now, I can double collect. So he's probably going to come in hard, so I'll probably put in a red here and just play it. Oh, that's fine. Too bad we don't have another uh, uh, red land. We could do our cannon carrier now. I think. Let's see. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go in here and then or here. Hmm. I think if I put. I'm, I'm gonna drop down as a fragmenter actually. So it'll contest whatever he summons here, and if not and then I can get the value of combat, summon a 4-2 mech in a random adjacent space, and then um, next turn I can air bot or cannon carrier. So and if he doesn't do anything I can just backstep and collect Feria. Alright, he's gonna go off to the side and that's fine. I might just pressure his face. So what I'm gonna do is actually um, backstep here. That'll give us the farrier for cannon carrier. Cannon carrier can now block whatever he's sending over here. And I can shoot a little robot to go pester him in his face. Look at that cute mecha. <laughs> Beep boop. It's the only card that has like a little Flavor text. All right. Ooh, I don't think this is gonna go how he expects it. That's fine. That's fine. I have another cannon carry. Yes. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is actually. Hop to the side. So I have four Feria. Um, actually, since I'm on this side, I might actually drop a land on over here. Um, let me think. Is it more valuable to have a yellow or red? I think red. Do we want this spot or this spot, though?
I think if we go for this spot, it doesn't not. Yeah, this spot. All right. So what we're gonna do is give this the ranged. Boom! It has its ability, which summons a robot for us, and we can actually swing over here. Ha ha! Collect this area. Nice. And then drop our bot over here and start our little double collect. Um, oh, and we'll hit him in the face. So he can hit us in the face and that's fine. He can deal damage, but at least we're blocking him from collecting any Feria. And we can start summoning robots too. That's fine. So I can just flame burst this dude. Oh, or I could just detonate. Dude, so this is what I was talking about, detonate. This is what makes it very good. So, let me think. I think I need to plot down some land. So I'm gonna play a red here, I think. I think I have to detonate. So boom, blow up everything. Don't have to touch any of this stuff. And then get rid of that. There we go. I'll just block up his land so he can't summon anything over here, and I'll just smack him in the face. I think we got this in the bag, unless he drops off some serious BS. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, this guy and enemy is so funny. Can be summoned anywhere. Good way to lock up lands. Hello. Ooh, bomb boys. Yes, the boom boys. <laughs> yeah, mech's fun, man. Is this the time he concedes? He's gonna just take his time, that's fine. Take all the time he needs. Is he a hawk? Is he a moth? What is he? It looks more like a moth to me, man. But he does wear have hawk colors, so could be anyone. All right. Um, sir, you know I can just shoot another beam boom on your land. Here, could start collecting. Now put it here. Boom. Look, surprise! There's more. I'll just use these to block up his lands. I do need to find a way to kill him fast. Uh, I really don't have. Um, any way to heal. No, 
Oh, well, he's digging, so that's good. Okay, he's gonna shoot face. Yeah, all right. So if he draws another uh, one of those, I'm dead. So no, too many enemies. Space open. Dang. All right. Well, we're all out of uh, Cypher's Wrath range now, which is good. But if he has another flame burst, I'm dead. Oh, he's digging for it. He's digging for it. No. <laughs> yeah. GG. It was a valiant effort. Oh, we're going back in. All right, so I have a new format of what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, let's see. Um, Google, why, is, why won't it? I'll, I'll just have a second window. There we go. Haha, <laughs> new window. Um, nope, that's not it. Why won't it show? All right, maybe if I put it over. There we go, haha. -ha. But why is it so small? Why are you so small? I'll just do full screen, I suppose. All right, questions to ask. Who is my hero? My hero, my hero is awesome. Have you, if, if you haven't watched my hero, it's good. Oh, cool, we're in a game now. Man. I'm getting like games too fast now. There we go. J Bander. I wonder if he's related to Charmander. Okay, we don't want any of this. It's all late game stuff. Perfect. We got Airbot and Shadow Silk Fairy. Airbot's like the perfect opener. All right, he's red too. That's fine. We can tango with that. We'll just hold the explorer. We don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. No, that's not good. Dang it. Okay, I have to survive next turn. All right, if I put it in that pocket, I'm safe. All right. Survive! Survive! <laughs> All right, because if he draws an event, then I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Uh, there's no way around that one. Okay, we'll see. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. No! All right, he's gonna shoot me in the face for a bunch. Hmm. Quite the conundrum we have. Oof. Maybe what I should've done with the airbot then is if I had put the desert here and then put the two here, it would've blocked him up. 
That's assuming he didn't have any spells. But if he had any spells, he would have shot this out of the air already. Okay. It's not looking good. Um... Oh, I could just start bridging and do bop. Bop. All right. Oh, I can shoot me in the face again. We have a brown shaker next turn. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, I'll take that face damage. Okay, he's logging. He's he's landlocking us now. You know, looks like a little. Little phallic going into the. Okay, we have two ground shakers, which could would kill that, which is awesome, which is what we want. I th think we're gonna do that. Um... I think we could play. We're gonna play mid, because he's not collecting, and if he's not collecting, we are. So boom, we drop that. We say hello with that. Um, another hello to this boy. And I think we drop this too, because then these guys can clear it up, and I can corrupt and grab. Uh, yeah, I like that. All right. So we're going like. All in here, boys. Going all in. Please don't pull some bullshit. It's all right, all right, all right. So he's Jamander, kind of like Charmander. He uses fire, but looks like a blue dude. Looks like Squirtle. So, what is it? Okay, there's the, there's the. No way. No! Oh, he got killed. <laughs> well, at least the airbot survived. I'll take the airbot because that's our Feria collector right there. So next turn we can drop cap 10. Uh, I, we also have another one of those. So we shall start migrating north. Um, okay, this is what I like to call the special souffle, where I do this. Ah, oh, nope, never mind. I, I already flubbed it. I should have put this my my dude here and shot it into this pocket. Oh. Talk big game, <laughs> and I flubbed the landing. That's all right. Ugh, oh, cannon carry is so cool. Airbot kind of looks cool too. Kind of looks like the snitch. Oh, what's that? Okay. That's not going to help him though, because um, I can just hop over and kill it. 
Oh well. You'll learn. It's the Fragmenter. Alright, um... Hello. I take Feria. I hop on there. Now you can't use that land anymore. Hop over here. Hit your face. Uh, drop this. And do we Fragmenter? Or do we do this with the Gift of Steel? 3 eight or th I mean, this is just better stats. Okay. Then I just longfully look at that Feria. If only I could, I could do F Shadow Silk Fairy too. <laughs> and had not flubbed it earlier, <laughs> I would have had an extra two damage on face. So that could mean the game. Sometimes it does. Okay, I guess I set myself up for that. But now he's out of Feria. And I got a guy who's gonna get real yoked real soon. Uh, half over here. Oh. Installing updates. Um, I think I fragmenter and I pop a land there and there. Get the extra. Um, I think I start moving back. Do I detonate? Not yet. Um, I can put my sh Shadow Slick Fire here. Now I can go any which direction. Just start going to face. I think this is a GG. Um, I don't get it. I always lose to those uh, people with the newbie skin, but then. People like this, not so much. Um, I hit face. Installing updates. Go over here. Uh, and then we get to go out in style with the detonate. What an explosive victory. Cool, we got our lore page. All right, let's go hop back in. I'm enjoying the mech deck, I'll stick with it. So, and I don't have to change the deck list, which I always forget. <laughs> um, cannon carrier. Where is he? Where he at? There he is. The mechas use a system of high-speed rail cars to transfer goods and weapons between the principal cities within their lands. In more remote areas or during one of their frequent invasions, they must rely on strong carrier mechas to bring in armaments and munitions. And they shoot the little mech out. It's so cool. I wonder I play you, Dark Reaper, like Cypher, your Cypher. Ugh, I can't beat it. I never know how to do with Cypher. And you can never do the math right either. It's like, so when Cypher destroys a creature, he gains attack and life equal to the destroyed creature's base attack and life. So he, he'll he lose the stats. So let's say he attacks like a 4-2, he'll become a 5-2, and then he'll gain the stats. So then he'll be a 9-4. Ugh, too much math. <laughs> All right, let's go back to, maybe I should do this full screen. I think that's the best way. Oh, all right, I guess we're going back in. Lord Domino, another newbie-ish skin. Not like it matters, but um, we are hopping out of this one. Uh, well, I guess we're going to commit to the all red then this time. 
Um, we'll see which way he goes. We might, I think with this type of hand, we're just going to go aggressive. Do we just go straight for face, though? Is that, ag that aggressive? Yeah, we'll see. Um, I think we hop down and we definitely drop this guy down. Do we play anything else though? Do we need the Faria? I don't think so. I think we're gonna hold. Hold! Oh, the mirror match, boys! No! My dude! Why would you do such a thing? Cool thing is that I've come prepared. I have a Bomb Slinger to deal 4 damage. Cypher's Wrath. 4 plus 2 equals 6. Win, boys. Let's explode together. Boom. No value for you. If you won't let me shoot your face, I won't let you do none of that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Okay. Um. Ooh. So this is what I like to call a sick play. I think I just. Oh, I, do I block his Faria capture? I think so. And I just shoot my boy over here. And then... Grab up these lands? Or... I think I just do this. Double neutral? No. I think I threaten, I threaten the cap 10 next turn, is what I'll do. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. Alright, that was expected. Oh, he's gonna do the same stuff to me. That's fine. So I have flame burst. I also have detonate. I think. Ah, oh, man, tough choices, boys. I think I hop here. I grab this Faria. Gets us me to four, and have a new land. I think that's the obvious pick. I think I put cap 10 here. another big thing too. Okay. Installing updates. I 
so I get... Okay, so I shuffled a deck of Gift of Steel into my deck. Um, I think I plus one. Ugh. I'm gonna be in a world of hurt next turn. Hello, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Nine damage, so I'm getting really close to the wire. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. Yeah, that's game right there. Okay, okay. GG. Back down to 13. <laughs> we'll go up. Alright, we'll play the mech deck again. Alright, let's go pull up those questions. Questaroonies. show one second you can show that browser but what about this browser no hmm one moment Oh, okay. Guess we're gonna go back in the game. I played J Bones before. Which deck color is played the least in ranked and why? Um, lately I think green is probably played the least. It's a little bit slow for the new Meta, I've seen a lot of red and yellow lately, so I've actually kind of followed in line today with uh, the meta. Um, I see a lot of blue, I see a lot of blue-red, um, and blue-yellow, but I haven't seen blue-yellow as much lately. Um, I, still, yeah, I, think, I think I see the least amount of green, but every once in a while I'll see a green-red deck, which um, usually has a... Oops, it's my turn. One moment. Uh, red, right. Uh, yeah, usually uh, what will happen is um, you have like this really cool red-green deck. I haven't been able to replicate it yet, but it's essentially you have this large range unit, and then you can teleport it amongst the forests with the green. Super cool. Oh, it's one of these boys. He's got a similar idea of doing the ranged, but luckily we have an answer to that. So next turn we can do a ground shaker. I really don't like doing a ground shaker just to collect Feria because they're it's a, just a very efficient unit. But it looks like he's just going to be a neutral burn, maybe? See, the cool thing is if I can plop our ground shaker somewhere around here and he maybe puts a unit there um, I can grappling hook and that'll allow me to pull my ground shaker over there so maybe that might be the move all right so if I play six feria that would put me at one feria you get three feria per turn I'll 
I'm assuming my ground shaker is going to survive. He doesn't have much Faria to get rid of it. So that'll give me four Faria, so it'll put me in five. So I'll get a cannon carrier for next turn to shoot towards here. There we go. Yeah, thanks for um, coming in and chatting with me. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, this is the most viewers I've had. So thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. So for those who aren't familiar, this is Faria. It's like Magic the Gathering meets Settlers of Catan, I'd say. Um, and I think it's a hidden gem. Honestly, it's just... It's a great game. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say about that. I like to try to play other games, and this is I just keep coming back to this one. Um... I think I'll put a yellow because I, I, I don't need. I think I only need three reds in this deck. Yeah, that's right. I look in the deck list. Um, actually, I'll start moving up, and I'll move this guy here so he can can actually do the grappling hook. And what I'll do is since I have five Faria is launch. Hmm. So if I drop him here, he's out of range of this guy. So I think I might actually do that. So... Bop. And maybe what I should have done is dropped a land over here, but eh, we'll learn. Ah, oh, it's okay. It's alright, we still have our grappling hook set up, which is going to be a really cool play. Uh, we'll see. Survive. Survive, my friend. Ooh, yes. Okay, we did it. We did it. Alright, so this is going to look like straight out of Fast and Furious, but here we go. Where do you go? Bop. Bop. Walk over there. Um, so next turn, we're gonna, probably going to look at uh, using Shadow Silk Fairy. Um, we have a connection point here he can collect. Yeah, so he's most likely going to have to contest. Oh, we do have the air bot for the double collect, though. Hmm. Let me think this one through. I'm trying to think of a way because if I no I don't think I don't think there's a way out of this yeah um yeah I think I'll just uh drop a land over here should I put it here or here? I'll put it over here, that way we can get some variety. Um, and I'll get my little airbot double collecting now. And I think I just smack face. Most likely gonna hit this. It's fine, I'll take the two damage. So long as he doesn't get rid of my airbot, I think we'll be in pretty good shape next turn. We'll probably, if we don't get a good card, we'll probably just draw. Ooh. If I could get another airbot, I can dash into here. Be awesome. 
Alas, that seems like it will not be in the car. Uh, nope, it's not in the cards for us. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Had I thought about it, I probably should have put a land here, dropped the cap 10, and did detonate. Would have killed both of them. Alas, it appears that will not be the case. So what we're going to have to do is do it the hard way, unfortunately, by killing that. And we'll put a Shadow Stoke Fairy here, which will have three opportunities to land on the land. Um, and now he's set with a dilemma. Let me get a bunch of uh, draw two events from my deck or um, deal two damage to face. So And this, this is rather annoying because it has both, it, you have to hit it twice pretty much. Ooh, he found a way, but let's see if he's going to take it, but hit it. All right. Well, at least this negated some damage to my face, so I'll take it. And now we can do the cap 10 uh, thing I was talking about. So we can grab this Feria, right? And we'll actually plus one Feria. So this is something that I like about Feria, right? I've always run into the problem with Magic the Gathering and all this other stuff where they can, you can't get enough... You either draw too much of your lands and, and then you don't have enough cards and then or vice versa, right? This one, every turn you have the ability to kind of choose and you, you're building the board as well. So I guess it's like a chess plus card game, which I don't know. It just made for a perfect combo. So I'm going to plus one which will allow me to drop the cap 10 here. Uh, and I can use detonate and it deals damage, two damage to adjacent enemies. That includes this stuff too, so boom. So we learned from our mistakes and now we've come back. All right, he probably has a ground shaker, I'm thinking. Oh, okay, interesting. So I, there's no way to get around not taking damage from that. So I'll capture block here. Um, I think we kill this. There's no way out of that. We'll get a gift of steel in our deck because he has the combat Ability. We'll do a mech thrower here and drop the Shadow Silk Fairy here. And I think we've just plus one at this point. We just need more Feria uh, just to try to finish this guy off at this point. I can do my unique. Hate sand gets everywhere. All right, so that seemed obvious. Otherwise, we can do three damage to his face every turn. So he's running out of steam. I mean, he has had one card per turn. So I think we are in good shape. We can hop over here, get our two free events. Um. I think it's one of those things where if we hop our, let's see, put something here, I can cannon carrier plus detonate. So what I'll do is I think I just block up his land like this. So. 
again, versatility. You don't have to do long range, you can do short range too. And if I detonate, it'll hit his face, kill this thing as well. Boom, pop. And then this guy can hop in, hit face. I get the gift of steel and hit face. And we win. Victory! That was a good rematch. Didn't I was de absolutely destroyed by Jay Bones last time I played him, so it's nice to be able to come back like that. Alright. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Let's hopefully we can actually get to Quora this time. Alright. Uh, nope. Quora. Alright. Uh... Hmm. My browser is not working as I would like. Nope, that's the wrong thing. I want to share window. Uh, one day I'll get this to in, in, in order. Here we are. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Boom. There we go. Yes, we have did it. But now it's taking up too much of the screen. Apologies. There we go. Aha! Perfect. Alright. What is the attitude of Keanu Reeves that surprises people to this day? Oh, for sure, that he does he like finds a way to like not touch like or be even insinuated that he's touching them. Uh oh. Seth McFarlane? I don't I don't even want to I don't read that right now. Okay. We're going back. We're going back, alright. Ugh! Yes. J Bones! That's the rematch, alright. It's time to prove Ugh Who's stronger? <laughs> Welcome into the chat. We're going against J-Bones again. All right, we haven't been lucky. We haven't been getting our uh, first turn good grab of a card, but it's all right, we'll make do. Um, I think we're gonna do a medium V formation. So I'm not very creative with my, oh, he's a rush deck, okay. So we'll actually just keep it nice and tight then. So um, we'll probably just stay at this V. That way if he has to come into the cone of death. All right, that's fine. We'll have, oh, that's plenty fine. So he has this four card, we have this bomb slinger. Perfect for these Sagami warriors, you know. Um. So yeah, I think we're just going to make this Cone of Death. He's going to th throw all his resources at me. Uh, I stop him, and then we take it from there. Um, so we Bomb Slinger. Go. Let's explode together. Let's explode together for sure, dude. A lot of people playing tonight, man. Like normally, you're, I don't get this many this fast of cues, so it's actually really nice to see people are out and about still playing this game. And I've seen some new players lately too. Like each of these streams, I've played at least one new player, so it's very heartwarming because I like this game a lot. Interesting. So he's got nothing up his sleeve. Um, so I'm gonna pop a yellow here, but just so I can get Airbot up and running, I can start collecting this way. Um, so I have uh, I have eight Feria. All right. So I think I have enough of events to keep me satiated for now. 
I'm gonna start the double collect right here, and I'm actually gonna start pressuring his face. Is that the, is that the move though? That's the question. The other option is I could also land my cannon carrier here. I think I pressure his face. Then he has to answer it, and then he has to deal with it back there, and it gives me some time to breathe. And I have grappling hook to do other shenanigans too. But it does lock him up. No, no, keep to the plan. Keep to the plan. All right. 11 fairy, that's pretty scary though, so we'll see what he's got. Ooh, red, green. Maybe he's gonna drop an elemental down and then play other stuff? I don't know. Ooh, big boy. Okay. I could also grappling hook backwards. He doesn't realize that, but that's the beauty of the grappling hook. Such a cool card, and really could only be done with in like a game like this where you have tiles. The other game I've been trying out is uh, Legacies Allure. Um, I really enjoy it. I played it once on stream, and I th I think I'm gonna try it out uh, again on Thursday um, when I do the other stream. But today I was itching for some Feria. Had a long day at work, so this is a nice way to. Chill out at the end of the day. Legacy of Lord, it's like I'm not at that point where I can just chill out and, you know, I'm still I have to really think, you know. Ooh, there's a lot of big boys. Oh, he's a very big boy now. That's okay. Because I have a lot of Feria, and he doesn't know that. So, what I'm gonna do. What I'm going to do is. Drop a land here, I think. Um, okay. So, all right. I can shoot him in the back, and I can kill this guy. I can attack here, and then flame burst and get rid of this guy. And then by the end, I still have my mecha and a double collection here. I think that's the play. Unless I go defense. No, defense is for wimps. All right. Um, we're going to give this guy grappling hook. I shoot him in the back. We don't go back. We stay over there. Uh, we... Kill, whack, shoot, and we're ahead. <laughs> All right, so we're more or less tied. I just have, we'll have more Faria than him and same amount of cards. So it's like he's just jumping towards the god. Interesting, a green rush deck. So I was just literally talking about how green is never used in that, and now I faced green, so it's very interesting. Um, I think at this point I actually draw for cards. Oh, I just feel so disgusting playing this. This is just what I needed to kill this. Let's explode together. I feel bad, but okay. Here we go. And I'll start collecting even more Feria, so I think he's out. Of, I'm, I think he's out of this. As I said, we stopped his uh, rush, um, made, let him run out of resources, and then we go in. Because he, um, while I'm while he's doing all this, he's ex using ex excess cards, and he's not collecting Feria to the degree that I am. So, um, at the end of your turn, give all mechs plus one plus one. So I could drop him here and then he'll become a 5-2 uh, I think I still draw for cards flame burst okay uh, I think we take it we flame burst that we hit face 
And then we have our Shadow Silk Fairy right here to collect, I think. There we go. So we can just draw more cards with that. All right, so now he's having to divert and now he has to spend resources to go backwards. Cool, all right, and that's game. Sorry, J-Bones, my boy, but I am the master. All right, so we played through all the other stuff. Now we need to play yellow cards. Um, I think we're gonna swap to a yellow deck. Yellow treasure control is gonna be a fun one. So I think we'll do the last hour with that. Let me update the deck list and also my header. Um, there we go. And we're using this deck. And it almost fits, so we're just missing Wind Soldier. So I guess keep that in mind. Um, Boom, all right, fits, okay. Um, so the, I guess the objective with yellow treasure control is um, draw a bunch of cards uh, and then just get all your um, pieces to just draw, 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 stick treasure maps into your deck, draw some more. Um, and then you're gonna run out of cards pretty much and then you have Bannon here uh, to shuffle a Radiance Imperial airship and 10 random neutral cards, and they have buff plus two plus two. So it's a very interesting deck. Um, let's see if I remember how to play it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how I do. Yellow Treasure Control. It's a fun deck if, it, if we pull it off, though, because um, you get a lot. You end up with a lot of area, a lot of cards in your hand, um, and just treasure, treasure, treasure. So, and then you're gonna watch the treasure mechanic, which is or just a really. Uh, it's a it's the RNG part of Faria, um, but it it creates a a really interesting dynamic. Um, And then I get to play pretty much my favorite archetype, which is control. As you can see, control, control. <laughs> I also need to pop out this deck one of these days. All right, let's go find some questions. I always need to remember to do that. Let's see if it works. Yes! All right. What are some commonly accepted double standards? Um, I think, yeah. I think women hitting men, I think. To me, I mean, I guess people shouldn't be hitting people, but it happens. Um, what's another double standard on the other side? Oh, the other one is hormones. How? How come hormones are accepted for mood behavior for women, but not for men? Think about it. All right, we're hopping in the game. It's against Britain. Oh, it's my friend. Uh, except I have don't remember when I was friends with him, but we're friends, and that's all that matters. All right, so we have Bannon. Uh, we'll just shuffle. All right, so we'll just collect and you're, we're just gonna play very, very slow. Um, boom. 
So I have a My Map Dealer just to uh, get treasure maps, and we have Oath to Oblivion to turn our map dealers, because we have a bunch of just little useless cards like this. Um, oh, perfect. So what I'm going to do is hop yellow on this side. So he's probably going to start coming in again. We're going to make the Cone of Death. Um, so we don't care that he draws. Do we want to draw right now, though? That is a question. I think yes, we'll draw. Okay. Deranged Monkey. So we could do that and have a really solid... Uh, let's see. He would be a 4-5. But then I don't get Fairy next turn. Oh. Well, I guess I don't, I'm not going to get Fairy anyway, so that's fine. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Alright. Um, I guess we play the monkey. The monkey. I'm gonna play the monkey here. Cool. Four for four, five. Ooh, he's drawing. Maybe I shouldn't allow him to draw. Oh, we'll see. I wonder how these cool backs are. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We get to start the shenanigans. So he might just have some way to flame burst it, but we'll see. Um, so if um, he has more than four cards, which he does, and he only has three fairy to get rid of all of it, um, I draw a card and drain one life for him. So I draw extra cards, and this is where the fun begins. So all he's going to do is just shuffle, 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 and that's fine, right? Blue, red, don't scare me. Because the more he draws, the more cards in his hand, the better for me as well. Um, let's see. Give a random creature in your hand, plus two, plus two. I could make this a 5-3, which would be awesome. I think I'll do that. So, I'm gonna hop this down, turn him into a badass, 6 3. Um, and I guess I taunt up. Why so I have 5 3. So I can just. I just see this as removal at this point, so. Perfect. Now we have more ways to get treasure. So now we'll just hold off on our hand. Okay, that's fine. What you can do... It's probably gonna run away. But I can run all the way over here, so this is gonna be awesome. You watch. Okay, so what we're going to do is do we start our step up now i think i'm gonna do this so i'm gonna hop over here to save your land steel land hit dude um and now we can drop our compass Right here. This will start generating treasure maps into our deck as well. Um, uh, I think I just chill now. Oh, and now we can fill his hand with more crap too, so um, it'll be great. 
That's fine. Killing off his stuff. That's fine. It's fine. I'll just keep drawing because he's just he's charging up his army. I'm charging up mine. It's gonna be an epic duel. We will not forget. Oh man, he's just chaining those. Um. Okay, we got our first treasure map, which is cool. Um, I think hmm. so we have to I'm, hmm. I think we have my so I'm going to just start Clogging stuff up over here, I think. So, definitely a my. Um, this just feeds into our strat, I think. If he has corrupt, that wouldn't be good. Shuffle treasure map to deck, draw, draw a card. I think that's useless for him, though. There's a four, six better. No, focus. I think it's better. All right. Um, I think we draw a treasure map. Ooh, ha another haunted husk. Ah! I think we. Yeah. Cool. We're drawing a bunch. We're starting it. We're starting it. <laughs> Cool, now we can turn him into a 6-3 too, so it's all coming together. I think I should have put this, the Starshell Keeper here. Oh well, it's okay. I can soldier in this. Oh, that works. I wanted to kill him anyway. That's fine. So long as I get two draws out of this, it'll be great. Yep. So that's awesome. Alright. So we're going to take Soul Pact. We're going to take two, which is okay. The reason being is we can Soul Drain this. And I think we still charge this up. Uh, until we get a super maxed out hand. Um, but we can start drawing treasure maps. I think that's perfectly fine. Um, I think... We convert this dude. Um... Let me draw again. Perfect. We'll allow him to. Uh, this is pretty good, especially later uh, when he pulls out Krog. Um, though this would be pretty good too. I think I'm gonna do this to get rid of his Krog. Then way his Krog never really dies. I drop that. There we go. Boom. Boom. Alright, and now we get started to get our treasure. So. Please drop Krog. Um, 
Alright, so we have a lot of Feria, and he has none. It's a good place to be, honestly. Alright, 255, Taunt Divine, or this bomb thing. Choose. Hmm. I think we take this. Um, five five taunt. No, Theory and Globe, man. All right. Uh, I think we're just gonna start. We're, we'll pull off. Uh, we can draw another sort of treasure. Ooh, Wind Soldier. Does that change anything? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, hmm. I think we am I again. Uh, Lightborn Spectre, that's always awesome. Um, I think I put my Theory and Globe down now. Oh, shoot. No! Okay. <laughs> Too much thinking involved. Oh, oof. Sorry, we can come back to that. Desert Twister to push him over here, so. We got another Haunted Husk. We're in business, boys. He thinks he stopped us. <laughs> so this is actually a pretty good combo. Uh, you can, for eight Feria, I mean, it's not very effective, but um, I can set something to turn something into something else and then kill it instantly with Wind Soldier. Okay, man, this is a good game. This is going to be a 4-7 next turn, which is going to be pretty awesome. So we're just going to chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away, right? And then we're going to surprise, turn this into a desert or something. And then um, hit him right in the face to finish him off. Won't even know what's coming. Okay, that's fine. You can just draw a little. As little do you know, I can get it right back. Bannon. Alright. Hmm. Don't like having to hit it with both. Still have a creature left in my deck, unfortunately. I think I just get Ghana at this point. Uh, drop this down. Ooh, I can storyteller. Make him burn some stuff. So actually, I'm gonna 
hop over here. Uh, treasure map. Treasure map. What do we got? Uh, Therian Globe's always great. Uh, whack, Soul Drain. Do this again, do this again, do this again. Shoot, we're not running out of time. Uh, this one, this one's good. Uh, we wait. That's fine. Okay, I've got to keep charging up. He's just not going to realize it. Storyteller, make him overdraw by one. All right. Um, we giants. Oh. Uh, a nine thirteen is pretty cool. I mean, if you want to hold there, I mean, you're not doing yourself any favors, my dude. I just need to get within two range, so you can see the, my range. Sorry, he's still cooking anyway. The more he waits, the sooner I can get Bannon. Captain of the Radiance. Oh, I can become overdraw some more. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to hop over here. Storyteller will be here. Um, I'm hopping on your lands. There's no way he can get another meteor unless he pulls something crazy. Mm. I think I just theory and globe at this point, and I'll just threaten launching it all the way over here. I think he won't, see, hopefully he won't see it. Um, instead, I'll give him other things to worry about, like overdrawing. Oh shoot, running out of time again. Um, um, this one. And I can, I'm threatening his face. And then Bannon will give us more cards in our deck. This is a super cool deck. Ah, so we saw, he saw it. That's fine. He's, if, if, so long as he's on the defensive, I mean, we're, 
I think we're, it's a win. Um. All right. So. Could hop Ethereum Globe here. We have our Haunted Husk. There's still one more card in our deck that is not playing nice. See what we get from this. Uh, I think a red creature, yellow creature. I think a yellow creature would be most beneficial. Um, none of this will help me. I think this will help me eventually, maybe. out okay that's fine Sorry, my dude. I'm very sorry, because I can Radiance. All right, let's play this out. Uh, we clear the way for sure. We Bannon, which very rarely gets to happen, which is awesome. Actually, I should do the more better play. So I'm gonna kill this. Hopefully, ugh, this did not turn out the way I expected. Oh well. Okay. Um. I guess we still we banned then. There's no way around that. Bannon. Add ten cards into our. gonna do boy I thought that if I did that move I could still move and attack if so then I could have destroyed the ochre battler but we learned a lesson okay that's fine I'll take that You're just not gonna have enough Faria, dude. That's the problem. To actually pull some of this stuff off. All right, I'm gonna clear his board now. Um, at least I thought I was. I 
have a soul drain. I think I need that for this guy though. So how do I pull this off? I think I hop him over. Hit here, hit here. Hit here. Um, Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Boom. Kill boom. Um. There we go. That's fine. Hopefully, he actually kills this. Then I don't overdraw. Cool. You're running out of moves, my sir. You don't have enough area for this. Which friend do I get? And that is a win! Beats my friends! Wow, what a cool deck, huh? And we got our gems. Wow, cool. All right, let's go to the shop. I think we can wrap this baby up with by opening up one of these. All right, so if you've been following the stream, you know that I've been trying to get a rare uh, avatar, but no luck, so maybe we'll get it this time. Let's see. Boom. Nope. Boom. Nope. Oh, cool. Though that would have been a cool lore page to actually earn. Lore pages! <laughs> Dang. Alright. Let's see. I think I'm getting a little tired, guys. So I think I'm gonna probably call it a day. But um, appreciate y'all watching. Um, hope you like the new logo. I think I might make it a little smaller. It's a little kind of big, huh? Um, anyway, without any further ado, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, peace out. <laughs>